guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keely and today we are going to be decorating inside my house for Halloween. I love Halloween and if you like Halloween then you are in the right place. Okay girl? Halloween starts off my favorite time of year. I love October. I love the end of the year. I love decorating and this is when it's my time to shine. Okay? If you are new here and you are just coming in because you found me through one of my other holiday decor videos, hello, hi. I am 31 years old. I have two kids, almost three kids, and I am married to my husband, Tim, who works out of town, so you'll probably never see him in my videos. I love to decorate. I love to share holiday magic, and I love to do it all realistically, easily, and on a budget. Because there is nothing perfect about me, and I like to be open and honest with you guys. So, if you are looking for holiday magic and holiday inspiration and and all of the spooky vibes then this is the right place for you so please subscribe to my channel if you are returning and you've been here for a long time a huge shout out to you i love you guys i love when you guys become a part of my community i love talking to you guys i love this this is amazing that this is what i get to do and so today we're going to be decorating and what a fun time okay we're going to have so much fun so let's get started we've got lots of stuff to do lots of stuff to decorate and i will share lots of tips and tricks with you guys along the way so let's go So we're starting out in the living room, but today we have so much to decorate. I'll be putting up all the Halloween all throughout the house in the kitchen, dining room, living room, my bedroom, and then decorating my bar cart to be a super cute hot cocoa coffee bar. For the living room, I'm gonna be switching out the pillow covers. I say this several times a year, but just buy pillow covers, y'all. Not only is it less expensive, but it takes up less space, which will probably make your husband think you own less pillows, and he'll be fine with you buying more, maybe. All jokes aside, I own these pillow covers in like five different colors, and it's only $12 per pair of them from Amazon. So I was going for a really classic vintage Halloween vibe this year. I have a ton of fun, crazy Halloween decor, but as my style evolves, my holiday decor evolves too. So I needed a few new things. I ordered these flowers from Amazon in this dark red color. I wasn't sure what to expect, but they actually look really great and I'll probably be ordering them in more colors going forward. The vase is thrifted and spray painted black, which is pretty much my signature move at this point, especially for Halloween decor. I love a good thrift shop find. I want you to know that sometimes even content creators don't know exactly how they want something to look, or at least I don't. I'll be honest with you guys about that. If you see me moving things around a hundred times until I get it just right, just know it's because I'm winging it. <laughs> I'm lucky because it almost always comes together, but I don't always have a plan, that's for sure. For the mantle, we're doing a brand new little swag I got from Amazon that really fits the vibe, I think. And of course, the notorious content creator bats. Are you really a millennial mom who loves Halloween if you don't have these bats all over your entire house in October? They're just so cute. I don't understand the chokehold they have on us, but oh well. I'll never stop wearing leggings as pants. I'll never stop wearing Uggs the moment it gets cold out. And I'll probably never stop putting these dang bats up at Halloween. Thank you. 
I have a lot of small little awkward places in my house like corners that need decor this spot on the bar is one of them so it's getting some floral and a pumpkin the bar itself will get a little skeleton bowl and a pumpkin honestly if you just put pumpkins everywhere in your house around Halloween you'll probably look spooky and decorated in no time Time for the bar cart. My favorite part of any decor video is the bar cart. I love all the cute little things you can put on it. Normally I do like a mimosa bar or a wine bar, but alas, I am with child this year. So we're doing coffee and cocoa. I've honestly been trying to convince my kids that homemade hot chocolate is just as good as the little packets, but they aren't convinced yet. So that's what I'm putting out here. Real cocoa powder, sugar, sprinkles, coffee, all that good stuff. So if you're new to my channel or wondering what video is next, now is my chance to convince you to stay and subscribe. We're running amuck, amuck, amuck over here, y'all, and we are all in with Halloween. So if you like Halloween and other holiday decor, then you're in the right spot. I've got tons of fun content coming up soon to share. Also, if you didn't catch it at the beginning, I'm sure you can tell I'm pregnant. So I'll be sharing some pregnancy content in addition to all my projects and holiday decor. I have a few projects coming up too, like my nursery decor, redoing my kitchen counters and cabinets, and of course, tons of holiday magic. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. I've also got my cute little bin down here filled with coffee cups, napkins that I use for the kids' lunches, little candies, and other things that I see in the store that I just cannot say no to. I also picked up a new sign to go over the bar cart because the previous one was just giving fall, and we're trying to be given spooky over here, you know guys? So I saw some candles at the at-home store that looked like little ghosts, and I loved them. But they were $11.99 for two of them. And I already owned these white candles from the dollar store, so I figured I could just do it myself. I mean, I am definitely crafty enough to draw some little black ovals, right? So I did. And look at how cute they turned out. They're little ghost candles. So the next purchase that I keep putting off is going to be a new dining room table. So if any brands that sell dining room tables are watching this, help your girl out. Just kidding, kind of. Anyway, I have the same tablecloth on my table to cover up the ugliness and I'm topping it with this new table runner from Amazon. It matches the little swag on the fireplace and it's a vibe. I've never wanted to do much on the table though because truthfully, this table gets a lot of use. I have to wash the tablecloth at least once a week and the kids are always here eating, doing homework, crafting. I'm not one of those people lucky enough to have a formal dining room so this is just what we're working with here, okay? Maybe in our next house. Anyway, we're gonna go for black and white with skeletons and candles and spiders. Perfect for Halloween. So another thing I like to do every year is create boo baskets. It's a fun way to bring in the holiday, give your kids some fun festive items to look at all October. It's just like a really fun tradition. This is actually year four of this Halloween tradition and the girls and I both look forward to it and love it. In their baskets this year are pajamas, a shirt, bubbles, a cup, earrings, hot cocoa, bows, and a few other little things. I have lots of little traditions during the holidays that I always try to include in my decor videos. So just to give you all some like easy ways to make memories with your family. Another fun thing that we like to do is boo our neighbors. So we'll make two baskets like this full of fun stuff and then go and anonymously leave them on people's porch. So that way we can spread a little bit of holiday cheer. I think it's fun for the girls to do because then it's like a surprise and I think it's good to do something without wanting credit for it, you know? Like, nobody knows who does it and nobody knows where it comes from, but it makes you feel good. So I try to do stuff like that with them. So 
So moving on to the kitchen. I don't know if I've ever properly explained this, but I love Snoopy. You may have noticed if you're an avid watcher. It's my dad's favorite though, and now that he's been gone for a few years, I always think of him when I see anything Peanuts or Snoopy. I just have to buy it. I love to see it out and it just makes me happy, especially during October. My dad's birthday is in October, as is the anniversary of his passing, so I always just have Snoopy stuff out during the holidays. Just one of those things that makes me feel a little bit nostalgic, I guess. So in the entryway, I'm just putting some small little Halloween pieces out. This year, I've been really inspired to make a Halloween village, like a Christmas village, but spooky. I've looked at some of the pieces that they carry at Michael's and other places, but they're really pricey, like $50 for one little spooky house. So I'm hoping I can snag some on clearance after Halloween. To tell y'all the truth, that's how I get almost all of my decor. Unless it's super cheap and I need it for a video right away, I don't buy things before holidays. I always shop clearance after though. It's the best way to build your collection. And I've been collecting Halloween for over five years now, so I've got quite the collection. While you're watching today, I would love to hear what you think, so be sure to tag me. You can take a picture that you're watching and tag me on Instagram, tag me in your holiday decor. I just love to see what you guys are up to and what you guys are decorating like and you know, just what you think of the video. So make sure to let me know. So in my bedroom, I'm gonna put this really beautiful vintage quilt on my bed. I think it's meant for a queen size bed and we have a king, but I absolutely cannot just let this sit in a tote somewhere. I mean, come on, look at it. It was my mom's and she gave it to me last year and it just needs to be out and enjoyed, but carefully enjoyed, so it has to go on my bed. I'm also going to add in a few other little Halloween candles and things on the side tables just to kind of pull it all together and I've got plenty of stuff, so might as well. It's already October and I'm a few days behind, but I'm filling out my monthly calendar. This calendar is something I picked up from Aldi to help give the kids a visual of how incredibly busy our life is and all the things that we have going on. So I try to fill it out every month. I like to decorate it a little bit when I do and make it look festive. So let me give you a little hack. You can use Sharpies on dry erase. To get it off, all you need is degreaser, like easy off. It works like a charm. I learned that when I worked in the restaurant world and now I'm sharing it with y'all. So. You're welcome for that little gem of information.
What are some of your favorite October traditions? October is always a really busy month for us. With the holidays officially starting, it's the busiest time of year for me to create content. There's also tons of stuff I love to do with the kids in October, like go to the pumpkin patch and the state fair and all the other Halloween events that are going on. Not to mention this year I'm pregnant, obviously, and the baby is gonna be here in less than eight weeks. So as usual, it'll be a super, super busy month. So if you aren't following me on TikTok and Instagram, then make sure to follow me there because I share a lot of behind the scenes and more of all of our holiday fun. Okay, so let's take a close-up look at some of the decor. If I missed anything and you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and make sure to check the links because I'll try to link everything I can. So on the bar cart, I have sugar, cocoa, sprinkles, coffee, straws, and then these really little bottles from the Target Dollar Spot. Like this one is Bat Wings, and there's Venomous Spiders, Eye of Newt, Moon Magic, and this one over here is Ghost's Breath. How adorable are those? I love them. I just have some straws in here, and then on the bottom, I've got my little bin with coffee cups in it, some napkins, this has little candies in it. And then these are just um, actually their candles from World Market. This is my favorite new thing that I've got this year. It's a ghost plate. It reminds me of the one from Pottery Barn, but this one was only $10 from Walmart. So go check your Walmart and snag this. It's literally the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, and I'm so glad that I found it. So that is the bar cart. My favorite thing to decorate. I love the bar cart every year, but I love how it turned out this year. On the table, we have this table runner from Amazon, just over the regular tablecloth that I always use. These came from Target. This is all Dollar Tree or thrift store. Like I got this from the thrift store last year and just spray painted it black. When you're thrifting, you can always think about things that you could spray paint or use again. Little skeleton, happy Halloween pumpkin, and then you guys saw me make these little ghost candles. So just a little spooky kind of black and white setup for the table, nothing too crazy. I didn't get any placemats yet. I might get those, but I'm not sure. We'll see. So another new thing I got this year is this ghost garland. Um, I absolutely love this. You know I love vintage looking Halloween things and this is so cute. I have to show it to you guys up close. It's from Ross actually. Then this is from Amazon. The little bats are also from Amazon. This is the mantle. I don't do a lot up there because I do have the TV. On the corner shelf, there's my head, hi. We have this little guy, he's from Dollar General. Then I have the that we got last year. We had it out on our table. We had a party last year. So I'm, that's from the party and I just kept it. And then these are from Fresh Market. They're just like potpourri. How cute is this little ghosty that sits in there? And all of this stuff, like these items that are like my core items for the shelf are from the thrift store actually, y'all. So go thrifting, you won't regret it. I am not the kind of influencer who can link every single thing that I own, but I will tell you how to find stuff for cheap. So this is like another core thing. A lot of these are like things that I have on here. I just added a couple things, but I love how this shelf turned out. It's like a vintagey, antique -y sort of vibe. At the table real simple too, cause it always gets filled with clutter. Just a book and some flowers from Amazon. These were really inexpensive, check the link, but Oh my God, I love them. They turned out so good. A little Ross pillow, a little Happy Halloween pillow from Kirkland's, and 
then some new black pillow covers there. Another place I'm actually really happy with this year is just this little corner. Something has to go here because it's just like on the bar. So I have this little guy. He is from an antique store. My mom bought him for me. I think he's perfect for the little, you know, classic vibe I'm going for. Then I have these little bats. I think those are for Target. And then these are from Ross this year. So this is just like the little, little corner set up, but I just love how it turned out. I think it looks so good. All right, y'all, so that is my indoor Halloween decor. What do you think? I love, love, love the vintage vibe this year. I would love to see your decor, so make sure to tag me if you decorate. As always, I have to thank y'all for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end with me. I'll be seeing y'all next week, and if no one told you today, you're doing a really great job.